In this lecture, we will see how to implement Boolean functions using multiplexer circuit. Right? Now, first we will discuss how can we uh, implement any Boolean functions. So, what is the reason behind that? Now, when we discuss the uh, decoder, so there we discussed we can implement different Boolean functions using different types of decoders. That is, if it is a two variable functions, I can use two by four decoder. If it is a three variable, three by eight decoder and so on. Now, what was the internal circuit diagram of decoder? It is nothing but it is generating the what you call min terms, right? So once we generated the min terms, so when we connect sum of min terms, I can get a function, right? Now to get that, what we need to do, we need to no sum that is we need to use one R gate to take the sum of the min term but if I see the uh, multiplex circuit so this is example of 4 by 1 max so 4 by 1 max means 4 inputs only single output so single output is F so 4 inputs are I0, I1, I2 and I3 so depending on the input combinations I will get either I0 or I2 and so on now what is the logic diagram of this uh, multiplexer is nothing but See, if we see this 4 under gates, it is generating the nothing but the 4 min terms with respect to the input common, I mean input uh, data, right? Now, finally, it is including the R gate also. So, that is the reason we can implement the any Boolean function using the multiplexer also because it is generating the what you call uh, some min terms as well as it is also adding those sum of min, I mean sum of min terms, right? So, that is the reason we can implement any Boolean function using multiplexer also. But what is the uh, some uh, disadvantage we can say is using 2 by 4 decoder I can implement any two, bar two variable functions right simply uh, taking 2 or 3 min terms uh, going to the 1 R gate but whereas I can implement only one function using one multiplexer because it gives only one function right but here I can implement uh, so many functions like I only why not by one, one function y1 y2 another function or y0 y3 another function and so on. that i explained already how can we uh, we can easily implement full order using only 3 by 8 decoder right so take some only some uh, min terms for carry another min terms right but whereas so i need two multiplexers to implement on full order so it may be 8 by 1 multiplexer that also we'll see right so this is the uh, what you call basic behind this multiplexer that is how can we implement this boolean function so boolean function is nothing but simply sum of min terms so it is generating min terms and it is summing also so that is the reason why I'm using only one multiplexer i can design the any boolean function now we'll see one example then it will be very clear so this is a two variable function that is f of a comma b is sigma 1 3 right so that is what is this meaning so at these positions the function value is high right this is the truth table always remember the moment uh, we get some implementation using multiplexer first we need to draw the truth table then draw the block diagram so these are the select lines and these are the input combinations so what we need to do is we have to assign the this uh, what you call subscript positions inside this block diagram there are 0 1 2 3 now if you see here these are the data right so here only i have taken i0 i1 i2 and i3 so directly we can assign these values here that is 0 1 0 1 so this is simple design of this one so directly we can uh, these values will give here the input of the this multiplexer so whenever 0 0 so it will select this this pin and this pin is having the data as 0 so it will goes to here similarly 0 1 it will select here then this is the one similarly we can implement any boolean function right if it is a two variable if i use 4 by 1 it's very easy directly give these values now if I see this example there is three variable function so sigma 1 2 4 7 is given the moment sigma 1 2 4 7 is given so no need to draw the truth table that is in this position the function value is 1 now so the moment three variable function is given so we need to use 8 by 1 marks because three select lines as the inputs now 1 2 4 7 the positions value is 1 so I can take this 1 2 4 7 and give it to directly 1 and the remaining positions I, I can give it to simply 0 depending on these input combinations it either it will select 0 or it will select 1 so this is simple uh, no design of this uh, this function using 8 by 1 marks but these type of questions will not come in gate how so what we will get the question is using this 4 by 1 marks how can i design a this three variable function that is the very important point right 
so that we will get questions right using 4 by 1 marks how can i design three variable function similarly using 8 by 1 marks how can i design four variable functions so that is an important you know, concept so that is how so we'll see if i see this example so this is on three variable functions so what we need to do here is we need to design this three variable function using only four by one marks now in four by one marks i can have two select lines that is s1 and s0 only two select lines but these two select lines will serve as some input so in this three uh, input who will be select lines and the one variable will be there now so that will be as the input which will come so that is the main uh, concept here is see whenever two uh, select lines are there in any four by one or eight by one in eight by one three way three select lines so instead of four variable now if i see this example so this is three variable function but what is the question is we need to design this uh, three variable function using four by one marks so four by one marks will have only four inputs two select lines one output but if i say i sh i need eight inputs that is eight data rights these are the eight data lines that is i naught to i7 but i'm having only four data lines so how can we design now the moment we see like this from these three input variables two input variables will be as a select lines one input as a the data line that is a very important concept here now how it will be now the moment we see these are the eight uh, data lines right so here i need only four what you do is make four parts like this see one two three four in this four part you can choose any two variables as a select lines so generally we will go like this so in this two zero 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 is common in this two zero one zero one is common in this two one zero one zero is common in this two one 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 is common so i can select a and b as a select lines because it is fixing for these two combinations a and b are fixed for these two combinations a and b is fixed and so on now what is the function and c so we have to relate this function value and c value if you see in these two conditions function is following the c so for these positions it's simply c now if we see for this uh, input select lines 0 1 is input but the function is simply 0 so i can make as simply 0 for these two input combination now if i see the third one so if you see the f so whenever c is 0 it is complement 1 is it is 0 so it is just complement so i can simply write c complement right similarly if i see the last one so 0 1 0 1 so f is following simply c so what is the fourth one simply c now whenever 0 0 what is the input i can make simply c for 0 1 this is the condition so simply i can give 0 next 1 0 so this is a c bar so i can give directly c bar last one simply c right so this is the simple design of this a uh, three variable function but using only four by one marks right so whenever it is happening like this one input from this will act as a data line right it may be uh, like uh, uh, without complement or with complement or sometimes we may get zero sometimes we may get one also other two variables will be select lines that's it right so if you know this concept now you can design anything these type of questions will get in the kit exam now one more example this is a two variable function right if i use four by one marks it's very easy so simply give this function value as an input and these two are the select lines it will give the function value but how to design using two by one marks now what is the procedure simply make two parts right so in this two part a is fixed and uh, f is following b so simply output is b now when a is fixed that is one one so b is i mean f is following b complement s or no so zero means one one means zero so it is b complement so what is the zero means so it is simply b what is uh, s is equal to or uh, here s is how a here so the select line is becoming a and the other input variable is becoming the data lines for this uh, what do you call input of the multiplexer so this is a simply b bar right if i use simply four by one marks so what is the, this one so zero one two three i can give directly zero one one zero and these two are the simply a and b right this is the function four by one right so whatever the value of the function value so directly give like this inputs but whereas here so we have to select 
one input variable as select name one input as a data lines for the this multiplexer right now we can implement all logic gates using two by one marks right or four by one marks also so if i take not gate so not gate or truth table is what a is equal to zero functionality will be one one if i give i should get zero now these are the two no the variables or two function values so what i can do i can choose the a as select lines and for the inputs i can directly give the function value so this is one this is zero so what is here the function value is simply a bar if a equal to zero i'll get one if a is equal to one i will get zero that's it right similarly i can design all logic gates right so you try to do on your own so just pause the video you try to do now we'll see how to implement all other gates using two by one marks using four by one marks it is very easy because for two variable i'll get four combinations so for for four combinations i will directly give the this function value as the input and uh, these two a and b will be acts as a select line but whereas how to implement using two by one marks so always we need to make two parts and one variable should be selected as a select line see it's not only uh, a i can select as a select line i can also select b as a select line how whenever b is zero here and here so what is the function value is it following a or not if it is following a it will be uh, the function is a and so on right you can try on your own how to select the select line as a b right now if i select the select line as a a so if i see the function it is simply zero for these two combination in these two combination it is following simply b now what is the design this is two by one this is a here zero means i will get directly zero one means i can get a b so this is function a into b okay i will also do like this I, if i select b as a select line so what is the function i'll get so zero zero if you see the output zero 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 one yes or no see so output is what zero so for this one this is zero now for this is b is one this is b is one so in that case a is zero a is one so f is following a so for one i will give a this is two by one marks so this is also same i will get right for a is equal to one this is going so a into b Similarly, R gate. Now you can do one over one. It's very simple. So I will go very fast. So two combinations. So it is following B here. Yes or no? In this case, it is simply one. So what is this? This is two by one. This is select line A. So zero and one. Whenever zero is uh, select line, it is following B. When one is there, it is one. So what is this function? I'll get simply A plus. Now similarly, NAND gate. So again, two parts. For zero, it is simply one, so I can make it as one. Here, zero means one, one means zero, so it is b bar. Here, two by one. This is zero, so zero means one. One means it is b bar. This is a. And what I will get? A b whole bar. You can verify the functionality of this uh, no design. If a is equal to zero, so it is directly selecting the one. So for these two combinations, I will get one. For a is equal to 1, so it will see b bar. So when b is equal to 0, so b bar means it will be 1. Now when b is equal to 1, b bar means 0. So this is 0. So it is satisfying the truth table. Similarly, the last one. So again, nor get two parts. So in this, you see if it is following the only b bar. So 0 means 1, 1 means 0. a is fixed. Similarly, second condition, it is simply 0. Right? So what is the design? Simply 2 by 1. This is select line a this is 0 this is 1 for 0 i will give b bar for 1 i will give 0 so what is the function i will get now nah, i mean nor get so a plus b complement so we can verify the truth table also now if so generally we may not get but if i get suppose how many 2 by 1 make marks required only 2 by 1 marks so here b bar is there no so suppose complements are not available then how to implement so i have seen how to implement not gate using two by one so how can i implement this is two by one if i give this b here and this is a function so for zero and this is one so if b equal to zero i should get one so i will give one if b equal to zero, uh, one i should get zero so i will give one and here zero here then what i will get simply b complement so i can directly give here see here i i am not using any b complement directly if suppose in your uh, 
uh, BTEC exam or B exams also. Suppose if there is a design using only two by one marks and uh, complements are not available, how to implement any NAND gate or NOR gate, right? Then we need two two by one marks in that case, right? That you have to remember. So again, here B bar is there. So again, I need one two by one marks to implement B complement. That is B here. So zero means I should get one. For one, I should get zero. So this is the complement or uh, no design or a not gate, right? Now we'll see XOR gate design using two by one marks again two parts. So when A is zero, so it is falling simply B. When A is equal to one, it is falling opposite of B. So it is B bar. So what is this? logic diagram we can say 2 by 1 the select line is a for 0 i should give b and for 1 i should give b bar suppose again if they uh, say complement is not available so i need one more 2 by 1 marks to design complement so i will give b here so 0 means i should give 1 1 means i should give 0 right so this is the what is the function i will get a into b bar plus a bar right Similarly, x nor gate again two parts for 0 0 so 0 1 this is 1 0 so it is b complement but whereas here 1 1 so this is 0 1 0 1 so it is following b right so what is the logic diagram 2 by 1 so this is a so for 0 I am getting b bar for 1 I am getting simply b right now again if not uh, available what we need to do again use 2 by 1 marks 1 this is 0 this is 0 one what is here b so i will get b i can give directly so two two by one max required to implement either x nor or x or gate or nand gate or nor gate if complements are not available right now we'll see how to implement full order using eight by one max right so whenever we take full adder, so I will get sum and carry as like this. So I did not use the truth table. So directly I have taken the sum, the min terms, right? So we can verify either in uh, the full adder using 3 by 8 decoder or when we discuss the full adder, so what is the truth table and how to write the canonical SOP. Now the moment 8 by 1 marks, so we have to use two 8 by 1 marks because I need sum as well as carry. So for sum, what is the uh, min terms we need to add 1 to 4 7 so wherever 1 2 4 and 7 so i connected to simply 1 the remaining values are 0 so because 8 inputs are available so for 8 inputs i can give directly function values similarly here also 3 5 6 7 i can give 1 remaining 0 so it will directly provide sum and carry right using 8 by 1 marks suppose if they ask using 4 by 1 marks then we need design Right. how to design that one we'll, how to design this uh, full order using four by one marks so we are having eight combinations so we need four parts so in this i have made four parts so in these two parts a is fixed so if we see sum it is following c so it is following c here it is following c complement because whenever zero this is one one it is zero now if we see here also it is it is following the complement so c bar here it is following c this is some expression so what about this one so this is 0 0 means i will get simply 0 0 1 0 1 so it is following c 0 1 0 1 following c this is 1 1 so it is following 1 now simple using two 4 by 1 marks i can design so 0 so this is a and b as a select lines right so for 0 what is the combination c for 1 c bar for a 2 c bar 3 simply c this is sum what about carry 0 c c 1 so 0 this is c this is c this is so this is simple design right using 4 by 1 marks so what is the here the select lines two select i mean two input variables as a select line the other input will become as a data line for this 4 by 1 marks right so this is the now uh, implementations of either uh, a logic gates or some uh, full adder we can go for different different uh, like a full sub uh, full subtractor half subtractor and so on right half adder and we can implement the logic gates also using either 4 by 1 marks or simply 2 by 1 marks also right so if you are having any doubt so please post a comment my request to all of you is suppose if you are getting any noise uh, the when uh, lecture is going on so please ignore that right so just concentrate what i am explaining the concept right